Hey everybody, welcome to a uh, show here on the channel on Monday evening. We've got a, a special show, one that uh, I've been talking with Mark about for the last 10 days or so, and it's a, a benefit live stream for artist Tony Akins. Uh, you know, it's, I think it's going to be something that many of us can relate to. Um, you know, we've all got parents, uh, maybe we've already gone through situations like this, but uh, it's something that, you know, that we all kind of dread and know it could happen to any of us at any given time, right, Mark? And so, uh, when sure. Mark talked to me about it, you know, I've met Tony a few times. Uh, he's, he's a fantastic artist, you know, great guy. And when uh, when you pitched the idea of doing a benefit live stream for him, when uh, you know he needed a little bit of assistance, I felt like uh, you know the channel is is a good place for it. We've done yep. benefit live streams in the past, so uh, happy to be able to help out, Mark. Yep, uh, I was just gonna say, let me get out front and thank you for your time, Bill. You know, obviously, you and I go way back and. I appreciate uh, the help for Tony. Tony is a super good guy. Uh, uh, I've had the pleasure of hanging out with him and um, I represent Tony and a whole Seattle crew who uh, you will get to see uh, here in a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, Tony, like Bill said, is in a situation where he is uh, helping his elderly mother uh, who is unable to help herself anymore. Um, he will, we're about to play a video um, that Tony made. Obviously, uh, he is unable to join us tonight, but, um, you know, it, it's something that, like Bill said, we're all getting older. We all have parents or who have either been in this situation or, or potentially will be in this situation, uh, you know, as an artist, um, you know, Contract employee, small business owner, you often don't have the the benefits of a big company and and aren't able to, um, yeah, have extra insurance and stuff to help yourself or your parents out. And so this is a situation that we're, uh, you know, wanted to jump in and help Tony however we could. So uh, we're going to have some... Um, uh, artwork uh, donated from various artists uh, and myself uh, coming up shortly. So yeah, some of it will be at auction, some of it will be at fixed price. Uh, there's some right. giveaways. We'll go over all of that with you and yep. um, and cover you know how you know payment options are and what the shipping is and all that fun stuff. But uh, but yeah, absolutely, Mark. I think that um, you know I mean again when when there's a uh, the, something like this, it's always good for the community to rally around it. And I'll let everybody yeah. know too. If any super chats are made during the show tonight, you know, those will 100% go to Tony as well. So uh, keep that in mind. If by chance you don't see a piece of artwork you want to buy, you can do a donation through the chat and I'll make sure that that goes to Tony as well. And uh, let me chime in also um, in Tony's gallery on splashpageart.com and we're going to post that link uh, throughout the show. Um, Tony's artwork is on sale for 30% off the normal price uh, throughout the week starting today. Uh, so if you don't see something in the as a claim or an auction, there's also artwork of Tony's that you can purchase uh, through his gallery on our website. Uh, that will, All the proceeds will go to him. Uh, I'm waiving my normal commission, uh, trying to uh, help Tony however I can. So. Yeah, and I did put the link in the chat right now. We'll make oh, sure okay, that it... Great reposted several times throughout uh, the evening like mark said um you know again all, all the artwork on the site is 30 percent off and uh 100 of stuff is going to tony everything tonight uh straight to him as well nobody's taking a commission on any of the things that we sell tonight yep so do we want to start off with tony's message and then we'll yeah uh, yeah and then we can bring in uh the hotel moscow let's yeah, see here hi i'm Tony Akins, and I'm going to try to get this message in while my sister's dogs are quiet and my mom seems to be quiet. Uh, I just fed her. Um, I just want to say thank you and welcome to this splash page event. Um, I've had to stop doing what I've been doing for uh, for reasons. Uh, my my mom's elderly and I'm her primary caregiver, which is uh, uh, the hospital said was a lot of work and it's it's a lot of work. Um, but uh, this is this is where I am. Um, I just want to thank 
uh, Stefano, Gaudiano, Barquet, Brian Tease, <laughs> Justin Norman, uh, for uh, being my crew, for being my gang. Uh, when we were in Seattle, Stefano brought me into the studio, and we 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 worked together for for six or seven years, and um, it was an excellent experience. And they're they're dear friends of mine. Lines. They're dear friends of mine. Um, and uh, I just want to uh, thank Mark for putting this collection together. I guess it is. It's um, uh, Stefano's offered up uh, some great pages from Walking Dead, <laughs> um, some originals, and then uh, at my shop at Splash Page, there's a collection that's thirty percent off for. Uh, the balance of April and there's uh, um, manifest destiny pages there which um, Skybound put out and I, I completely loved working on sorry it was traffic going by um, yeah yeah this is uh, an unexpected turn in, in, in life but it happens and I just want to thank everyone ahead of time for uh, watching this message and, and, and doing what you can, because um, yeah, it's it's rough. I want all of you to be well and uh, have a terrific summer. And, and thank you. So yeah, we wish Tony could have been here, but obviously yeah. uh, the situation does not really allow for that. So uh, we were glad he was able to film that intro for us. And um, we all feel feel for him. And then, like Mr. Redjack made a uh, super chat to all uh, our uh, parents for being there when we needed them. Now it's our turn to help them. So uh, thank you very much, Brian. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So uh, yes, Hotel Moscow. I see uh, I see them in there. I see an easel. I'm just going to bring them into the show. Hey, gentlemen. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. Justin, come on, say hi, please. Stop travel. <laughs> Justin, so have pizza. You want to introduce the the three troublemakers, or do you want me to? I'll let you do the uh, the introductions okay. there. All right, uh, Stefano Cariano, anchor of The Walking Dead, and um, a whole lot more. Uh, Brian Tees, he Hello. is uh, working on his own project right now, Sanvian, but he has worked on uh, Winter Soldier and AVP, Aliens, Predators, uh, Star Wars, Legacy, and a bunch more. Uh, Moritat, uh, also known, you'll hear him called Justin throughout the show, probably by well, his name. Moritat. <laughs> or, or a number of other things. What are you guys doing tonight? Moritat. <laughs> As you can see, his Wonder Woman piece behind him, um, that uh, is one of the many promotional items that we'll be throwing in. Uh, it's, it's actually sunny in Seattle today uh, for some reason. Very nice. Is that, um, so, um, seventeen. Oh, is it? I thought that was a no. You called it a sketch cover. cover. Yeah, you, that's what I thought it was on. Okay, my bad. That's a that's full eleven by seventeen page. Wow, uh, yeah, it is. it's rare. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually hand lettered on the board, which blew my mind. It's like you actually did the logo and all the stuff on it. It's uh, that's the kind of. Uh, Person that Justin is, all kinds of good crazy. So, and bonus yeah. sexy Wonder Woman sketch from nice. Justin. Nice. <laughs> Who's on all? I'm another theme this slide before we get to it. Can you see how many people are online? Uh, like the entire internet, Justin? Or are you oh, talking about in this? Uh, yeah, and in is, this group. Is Jimmy around? Pomiati. So, I have not uh, seen him pop into the chat yet, or into yeah, the supposedly into the Jimmy Palmiati might be joining us um, tonight. We'll see. He has worked with um, Moritat before and has something going on with uh, Tony. I think he's worked with Tony before as well. Oh, he's, exactly. he's known Tony the longest. <clears throat> they've they've known each other since the ninth. Mm -hmm. And they I believe they have a project going on right now. Well, yeah, I don't know what yeah. it is, but. Jimmy might be able to tell us a little more about it, and uh, yeah. But they they work together on fables for 
20 years, 25 years. Wait, was Jim uh, Rankin still on Fables? I thought it was uh, MVP, Andrew Pifoy that was working on Fables. But yeah, Jim, no, Jim, Jim and Tony Jimmy. have worked have worked together definitely. Hey, Bill, as you can see, this is going to be a little bit of a pandemonium and madhouse uh, from the Hotel Masco crew throughout. Uh, but let me, let me start by um, pitching it to Stefano. Um, you know, as Tony mentioned, um, Stefano brought Tony in to this crew, which is uh, was a studio in Seattle. Uh, why don't you tell us about that, Stefano? Well, how did well, how did you meet Tony? For uh, props to Brian Tees here for starting the studio because okay. uh, we were all, you know, I mean, the Seattle scene is not as big and cohesive as other scenes like Portland or even New York. But uh, you know, we all sort of knew each other, but we were all kind of loners too. There's a typical Seattle thing that people just kind of pull up in their whole, in their own place and, you know, just like enjoy looking at the rain, sometimes with cats, and uh, I hope they'll make an appearance. And Brian here um, was uh, for a time staying at a studio, sharing a studio with a costume maker that was right on the waterfront. And actually it's kind of nice because now he again has a beautiful studio on the waterfront, but it was kind of this amazing space and um, when uh, he and I got to know each other through common acquaintances, Edward Baker was the main guy that sort of people circled around when I was living in town. Um, I decided, you know what, if I have an opportunity to take a couple of days out of a week and instead of working in my suburban room, come out to the city and enjoy a little bit of the uh, Puget Sound, you know, out the window while I'm drawing, I'm going to do it. And then when that particular studio, the building ended up tur being turned into condominiums because the location was too good, basically. Uh, Brian invited me to just, you know, form a studio together and find a space together. And uh, I was very reluctant, but he was, you know, just gently nudged me along. And it's been a great experience. And uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, he's incredibly charming. It's 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 actually annoying, you know. Uh, but uh, that's where you know it was kind of nice because when I had met Tony at San Diego at one of the conventions in the early two thousands, I was. I were always work at uh, Vertigo, and um, uh, we just, you know, I'd always wanted to work at Vertigo. Vertigo is one of those companies that always eluded me, basically, it's just they didn't like my stuff. I did maybe, you know, eight pages for Vertigo, and then they decided they didn't want to have anything to do with me. So I was envious and uh, admiring of uh, Tony's work on uh, Fables and uh, Jack of Fables, and uh, we, you know, struck up a conversation, hit it off pretty well. And then a few years later, um, I didn't realize he had moved to Seattle, but Jan Vaughn, who is a, a cartoonist that was living in Seattle at the time, is actually in France now, I think. But Jen, Jen got deported to France. She yes. Got, yeah, she's, Trump, she's, Trump picked her out and she, yeah, they, she, she's living, she's making wine. You know, they've been threatening to do that for a while. And, uh, you know, finally got that artiste back to France where she belongs. Originally from Texas, one of your, your cohorts, Mark, but... Uh, uh, Jen is like me, a very gregarious person. And uh, so she was in touch with Tony. And when I heard that Tony was in town, I'm like, okay, we got to get together. And we went to a bar that I think, uh, I know that you've been to, Mark, the, the White Horse, I think it's called. And uh, Matt and I, and I thought, hey, Tony, you know, we got this studio. If you need a place to work, uh, you know, I think he was sharing a place uh, with a uh, family where there was a little kid. And I'm like, you want to get away from that? Just come to the studio. Well, you're so, going back to your work from home for a while wasn't it? me yeah yeah tony basically replaced me actually because first i'm like hey tony come work with us and i'm like ah tony I, i'm not gonna work at the studio anymore i can't remember when i think it was just there's a few times that was kind of one of the cool things it is one of the cool things about that studio that studio is still going on but it's in one of these spaces it's it's one of these spaces where people rotate at first it was just brian and i then it was me brian and justin then jen Vaughn and kevin hannah and, and I can't remember if Dev Madan worked South, here for South a while. For a Matt Southworth was there for a minute. And Justin Morikat was, you know, one of the regulars there. And then when Tony got there, I guess it got a little crowded and uh, we expanded. I got another studio uh, in the same building where I was working on my own. Tony was sharing the place with Brian, then Tony took over my studio. It just, you know, a classic sort of, you know, people's lives and projects changing, but we all hit it off pretty well. And eventually I think I'm going to pass the ball to Brian because you probably spent more time working side by side with Tony than any of the rest of us because the two of you were just, you know, the main guys. Yeah. And um, I never collaborated with Tony except on some sketch covers, some Walking Dead sketch covers. Oh, that's not cool. 
Oh, you're right. You're right. No. But there you go. So my memory started to fade. So I'm going to pass the ball to Brian. I, I don't like, know this part of the story. No, it's just Tony's at the studio now. Oh, Tony's, Tony's at the, the studio. studio and I'm forgetting what happened. So what do you remember from about Tony? Oh, before I give the <laughs> word to Brian, I got to say one thing about Tony, other than, you know, we're all sociable, nice, pleasant people. What? an amazing and underrated artist. And for anyone who's here tonight, I just got to save his nine. I'm going to say it again throughout, throughout the hour if I don't eat it all up. His art is so underrated. Um, uh, and I'm saying this because obviously he's well known. He keeps getting work. You know, he's recently been working on, uh, he did a Batman, um, uh, some right. Batman work for DC. He's been doing Red Hood, yeah. Red Hood with Sean Martin Broke. But there's always this thing where it's like, okay, you know, he's on fables, but people think about uh, Bucky, you know, Mark Buckingham, who was the primary artist. And he's on Wonder Woman, but people think of Cliff Chang, who was a primary artist. And even on uh, Red Hood, I think that Sanford Green uh, was the original artist, and then Tony jumped in. Tony, like, he deserves a spotlight. Like, looking at his art, Live, which I think that you art collectors can relate to. When you have a piece of original art in front of you, things come across that are not going to be there on the page. They're not going to be there when it's shrunk, printed, colored, lettered, the whole thing. We love comics, but original art is a different thing. And Tony's art is astounding. I mean, he's one of the best developed artists I've ever met in the United States. Uh, I don't think he actually studied art. I, I may be wrong about this, but he's got the kind of chops that I've seen in Italy from people that had the kind of schooling that I didn't get because I moved to the States. Tony draws. Yeah, sorry, no offense. I mean, you can get really great at it. <laughs> Y'all suck. <laughs> but no, 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 it's talking. about like that, that old school kind of Renaissance naturalism where it's not even like, you know, the great American exactly. cartoonists were doing work from photos, you know, like Alex Raymond on, on uh, uh, what was it, Secret Agent Black Snyder, or Rip Kirby, you know, was, was using a mm -hmm. lot of photograph, which is great, right? But Tony can draw stuff out of his head that's got that beautiful realism and naturalism, but also some of the distortion that I really admired when I would look at Michelangelo's work in Italy. And I know, I mean, it sounds weird to say this, but seriously, he's one of those guys like John Buscema, that can draw the hell out of something and puts 100% into it. So I was blown away after meeting him at the convention and appreciating him as an artist in print. Actually getting to look through his sketchbooks and looking at his original art was a complete revelation. And, and I think that anyone that has an interest in original art would do really well to just get some Tony art, both because it's it's just great to look at and also because I think it's something that over time is going to be valued more and more because less and less people have that kind of skill. Computers are making the job very different and some incredible art is coming out, but it's a different style of art than what Tony has been bringing to the table. So that's it from me. What do you know about Tony, Brian? <laughs> you sure? You're doing great. <laughs> hey, we all love and appreciate uh, Stefano's ability to talk to a wall or anybody at any time, you know? Uh, so I thank would, you I for would the studio and he'd be talking on the phone to his mom and then I'd leave mm -hmm. out for lunch and I'd come back an hour later and he'd still be talking just as passionately as when he left or when I left. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I mean, I was, to be honest, I, I didn't know who Tony was until he came into the studio and that's just due to my own ignorance. But, um, when he came in, I'm, I'm always a little suspicious of any new artist or new creator that I meet. But we hit it off right away. We've got a shared uh, interest in military aircraft. Uh, he was in the Air Force for a while. Um, so we share some stories there. And so we bonded pretty quick over that. But then once I saw his work, um, I was really impressed. Like Stefano said, he he uses, he's one of the few artists I know that still uses the grid. He'll he'll get out all the, you know, the golden trine and the, the golden ratio and all that stuff. and he builds all of his page compositions around that and he does it quickly, uh, which surprised me. I'd be like, why are you wasting your time doing that? That's just his method of doing stuff. And I was really impressed. It was, uh, he was a very pleasant studio mate too. And I really miss him. Um, uh, he's alive. He's just in Chicago now. Well, no, no, I know, but I mean, in I miss fact, he's in the chat room right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, he's in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Tony, say something. Tony, you're here? <laughs> oh, well, no, he's not in our talking room, but he is in the actual chat, live chat comment room. Got so it. he has said hello and, and that he loved, this is wonderful and he appreciates that. Well, hey, uh, somebody hey, we were talking about just a minute ago. Howdy. Hey, Jimmy. What's going hey. on? Hey. hey, Tony. How's it going, buddy? How's Bill, Mark, how you guys doing? Yeah, we're great. Hey, Thanks Jimmy. for joining us. Hotel Master Tony's, in the, Tony's hanging out with us in the chat tonight. He's not oh, going to be able to join us live. Oh, there's this. There's a couple right here. What's up, buddy? <laughs> He's scarfing on? pizza and beer at the moment. Yeah, well, that's 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 a uh, that's big money food for those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken from a writer. Yeah. Where's Tony? Tony's hiding out or no? Well, He's um, in the chat. he couldn't really be on camera. He, gotcha. he could. You know, but he is in our chat room uh, commenting right. and uh, appreciating um, us and what we're talking about. Well, right. like, like Bill and Mark were saying, we're all of the, at that age where, you know, I spent six months basically doing at home care for my mom. Justin is actually doing that right now with his mom. I know. Brian, you know, went through, you know, his father's illness. So we all know what it's like. And I think it's good for Tony right now to not put himself in a position where he might have to like jump off and go take care of his mom. Oh, I was in the middle of the interview, so he's just hanging back, I guess. I and, took uh, care. Of, I took care of my mom for uh, 18 years. I was doing Marvel wow. Nights. Wow. I was wow. doing event comics, and still took care of my mom 18 years. And uh, don't regret any of it. It was a lot of bills, but um, but it was. Uh, she was great, and uh, you know, I, I like any son. You wish you could do more. You know, you wish you could yeah. magically. Uh, solve all the problems and get them back on their feet and running around. But, you know, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, they, they, I figured they changed our diapers and fed me for long enough. I, I, I could return the favor. Yeah. Uh, you know, and plus you don't want to have, you know, like, like I said, the weight, the weight, it's a lot of weight that other people don't understand. Like if they yeah. don't have some, some people still have their parents around and uh, God bless them. Um, but you know, you know, when you're going through it, it's, it's, I remember I, I remember because I was I was doing so much inking work. I was doing Marvel Nights and I still had to run home and check on my mom and you know do all this kind of stuff. And I just I learned to eventually just, you know, okay, now I'm working. Now I'm worrying about her. Of course I was always worrying about her. And then uh, those three in the morning phone calls I used to get from her. I made sure she lived right near me, but she still wanted her own place, you know? And um so I used to get a phone call at three in the morning, like I, you know, I fell off the bed. I'm, you know, and I'd go, "Well, are you comfortable where you are?" And she's like, "Well, yeah." I, I, I dragged the pillow. I dragged the pillows down. I'm like, "Well, then, I'll see you in the morning. Just relax. I'll come by in the morning. Just go to sleep there. It's a big carpet. I got a big shag carpet for her, you know." Um, uh, but it's part. It's part of life, and uh, we all go through it. And uh, happy to help Tony. Uh, you know, um, I totally get it. I totally. I totally, you know, and Justin and all you guys, I, I get it. Um, and I think it's like all this artwork that you have for sale with a discount. I'm, I, I honestly, I looked at it before I got on, and that's why I'm a little late. Um, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll pick up some stuff, but when I, but let everybody else pick through it first. Is is a uh, you know, um, but Tony's brilliant. I mean, you know, I've worked with Tony a bunch of times. Um, and we worked together. We actually uh, did a thing called Deep Sea for Dark Horse. And uh, Tony actually just finished, you know, not too long ago, uh, Paul Mounts finished coloring it. And that's like a future Kickstarter for me. And, and then we're working on uh, Sex and Violence Volume 4. He's, he's doing a story now where I'm inking and coloring it. And, uh, and you know, and then, uh, and then Justin over there and I are working on something at the same time. We're, we're kind of all keeping busy. Um, I'm watching my bank account go to zero, but I uh, I do love all this. <laughs> I, I'm selling the comics behind me slowly. They're slowly going. You know, um, I think, I think there's more money in cosplay now than than there is in making comics. It's, it's too late for me, man. I, I don't have that kind of body. I don't, I don't know what in the future. But... Yeah, I think we're all out on cosplay. I'm afraid. Maybe Bill. Bill, Bill could be Thor. I still think. I, I I do. I pass this store at least once, you a, that, once a week. You that metal hat on. You've got the hair. 
You know, I'm not doing it tonight. I got it. I got it over there, but we're not wearing it tonight. I like that you say you're not wearing it tonight. Like it's an everyday thing, but not tonight. <laughs> well, I uh, I did shoot shoot some memes recently where I was wearing it, but I'm not. Okay. Uh, yeah, tonight it's not. It's not going there. But um, it's Thor but before yeah, like, he hits the the cane on the ground. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't have a cane. Not yet. Um, yeah, Jason screaming, put the mask on. No, no, that's a that's our usual chant around here. People say that you know if I wear a mask, they'll 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 make higher offers on artwork. So, oh, but uh, not specific know, the mask I'll one was stupid chat. Well, uh, yeah, we'll see. Like, we threw that out there earlier too, Jimmy. Any super chats we get tonight, we're gonna uh, hundred percent give to Tony as well. Mister Redjack did a hundred dollar donation at the start, so uh, yeah. See, everybody's saying I should put on the mask. I'm not putting a. They like seeing me in this Captain America mask because it's too tight. It's like it was made for an eight year old. Now we got to see it. Why do you have it? Why do you have it is the bigger story. (laughs) Because Mike Berkey gave it to me because he thought it would make me look stupid. And so I I refused to wear it. I wore it a couple of times just for laughs. And uh, now everybody wants me to put it on. So, you know, Berkey said. This is a pretty special occasion, Bill. I'll put the Thor helmet on if that, you know. Yeah, put the Thor thing, we'll, we'll, the Thor on, man. You, you we'll squeeze cool. a few uh, extra dollars out tonight. I don't mind doing that. But, yeah, uh, man. No, cat mask. He draws the line at cat mask. I, I hear you. I can show it to you, but I ain't wearing it. Look at the size of this thing. Well, at least we're looking at it. That's good. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. Like I can't good. even breathe in this thing. No, no, I, I, I can't. So the only the only thing I have is uh, something that came through my store this week. I thought it was hilarious, so I brought it home. Was a sleep mask for Spider Man. Oh, it's so, oh, that's you cool. know. So when I go on the plane next, I'll be a Spider Man. But uh, I, otherwise, I don't cosplay like you, Bill. So. The, the the problem with that sleep mask is like if you're sleeping at home and somebody breaks in. They'll probably hit you a couple of extra times to make sure you're really down. You know, like Spider Man's, I better hit him like three more times. This guy's serious, yeah. <laughs> um, just, I mean, well, Justin, you said something. Are we doing this thing where um, uh, we're throwing in sketches for people that uh, yeah. buy original yeah, art? Why don't we talk a little it's, bit about it's that? Only, it's, only, no. um, it's, only, it's on where people yeah. know about this. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah. So that's good. So, yeah. But I did stipulate that you'd do yours in the nude. <laughs> All right. Is well, it the characters or him? Camera, but not, you know, we're not uh, going to expose the audience to that. Yeah. Uh, so um, I don't expose anybody to that. <laughs> um, Perhaps his wife. <laughs> But, uh, but yes, there are some giveaways that go along with the show tonight based on uh, dollars amount spent and those sorts of things. So uh, before we get into the, uh, the the first set of pieces that we have for sale, we can go over the what those giveaways are. Uh, some are one-offs and then some are open-ended. So uh, this first piece was one that Mark was going to give away to the to the first buyer tonight that reaches uh, the $400 mark. He has this uh, Josh Middleton sketch done on 8.5 by 11. It was in a sketchbook. And uh, so that will go to the first person. It's cumulative, you know, or if the piece goes for 400, it's, it goes to that person. Or if you buy two $200 pieces, boom, you know, and you're the first one to do it, you're going to get that one. Uh, the, the piece that uh, you were looking at on the easel, this is the second giveaway to the first buyer that reaches $1,000. And of course, again, that's cumulative. Or if by, you know, chance one of these auction pieces goes that high, uh, that would uh, go to you as well. And it is on 11 by 17, fully painted. Uh, you know, Mora piece. Tat, which is yes. I, I'm sorry. Yes, I, I took Moratat's name off there when it was long, and I, I thought this was a sketch cover, but uh, yes, this was done by Moratat, and uh, and it was a little homage to Cliff Chang's work, of course, and it's beautiful. Yes, and, because Tony uh, Tony worked on that same run as we mentioned mm-hmm. before. So yeah, it was uh, yeah Moratat's way of paying love to both Tony and also. Uh, that run that as Rello and well, thank, Chang. thank you, Mark, for the idea. So yep. you're quite welcome. Uh, and he, I must say, in our early post emails, I think I called it a uh, a comic sketch cover because I had no idea that Justin was that insane that he hand lettered everything, <laughs> including 
Azarello, Gang, and Tony's names and the DC logo. So my bad, but this is actually 11 by 17 uh, fully colored uh, piece. You were fooled. Exactly. Now the, uh, the third one is the more open-ended one. And this is uh, by Moritat as well. Anyone who purchases at least $200 worth of art tonight, and this is, you know, this, it's not cumulative. This is one for each buyer. Uh, that buys uh, two hundred dollars worth of art, you'll get a free seven by ten head and shoulders color piece. So uh, you just have to buy two hundred dollars worth of art, and you're uh, you're going to get an extra sketch on top of that, and it's color, right? I mean, that's, yeah, uh, that's totally. even yeah. even well, better. Just buy Tony's stuff, and I draw for you. Simple. I like it. Simple guys. Yeah. Simple. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very simple. <laughs> And there is actually a fourth giveaway, but we won't get to that till we get to the claim sale side of things. We're starting off with some auction pieces tonight, and uh, the last giveaway item is kind of more tied to the uh, claiming of artwork versus uh, winning of the win winning an auction lot. So keeping it keeping it in our uh, uh, back pocket until we get to that point. So there you have it. So. so uh Charlie Allard and uh, Stefano both worked on The Walking Dead together, obviously, and we have uh, five pages of their work uh, that we are going to uh, auction off starting, I think, now. Uh, and we are starting the opening at um, a much lower amount than uh, what the pieces um, would normally go for. So just so you know, um, uh, you'll see on each piece, uh, there's different levels of pieces, some panel pages, uh, a splash page, some with zombies, some with, some without, uh, but, uh, oh, all right here, Thor is joining us now. Sorry. Thank you. There you go. Tonight only. We, be, tonight we, better, only. we better see some, uh, donations come through, uh, who was saying that, uh. Jason, I know it's well, like Jason but Ambrosio. He was, yeah, he yeah. was clamoring for the mask, which he didn't get, but uh, this is as good as it gets. Um, but yeah, so we're starting off with Walking Dead pieces. I think, Mark, when we talked about them, you were starting them at like 30% of what these uh, would have been priced on the website. Right. So very, very uh, fair starting spots for them. Um, the, uh, you get a pencil. Yeah, you know, if anybody's familiar, uh, after Stefano started inking Charlie's stuff or after a certain point, you, get, you ended up getting a pencil piece with just Charlie's pencils. Look at that. They're making art already, guys. Uh, and then you get another page ink by Stefano. So it's uh, so you get both pieces. And what's, uh, what, you know, that's kind of cool. Anybody who likes process, this is it's about the best way to actually get to see uh, the, the pencilers intent <laughs> and the embellishment. My goodness. Nice helmet. <laughs> that's, that's his big ego. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, here's, here's, an interesting, here's an interesting piece for you. I bought this pen years ago. It's a Kuratawe, and I brought it into the studio. And these guys are they're like, what is this? Let, let me look at it. And they were like, Yeah, you know, that, that pen's a piece of crap. I'm not using that. And look, look, look at this. Look at <laughs> years later, years later. It's great for zombies. Yeah. <laughs> Nice hat, Jimmy. I'm afraid I'm I'm hatless tonight. So uh, <laughs> it's okay. I you guys whole, represent. I have a whole shelf of hats for every occasion. <laughs> nice. That's great. Well, we got a uh, $10 donation uh, for the Thor helmet. Thank you, number one Marvel fan. And uh, Jason has months. made a donation. He said, I used to be fun. Uh, he still wishes <laughs> I were the camera. Thanks a lot, Jason. I've known, uh, I've known Bill a long time. He was never fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Talk about, talk, speak for yourself, Mark. Uh, anyway, um, let's see here. Well, why don't we, we can get, get things started here, right? And Jimmy, I have to tell you, I just, I did uh, uh, read that, um, the, the Hunters. I read The Hunters just recently. Now I see you in that uh, cap, man. That, that's so far the, the books I've read, that was my favorite. So, I mean, well, I, I've you. always loved good Western. I appreciate it. Partner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm the one from Texas. I'm afraid I'm going to have to call you on that. All right, I'm the only one that can say partner in the room. <laughs> uh, the, the, oh, Oki, <laughs> partner's upstairs. <laughs> Marcus, you're going to be waiting a long time on that one. Uh, all right, so yeah, we'll go ahead and show the first piece that we've got here, or a pair of pieces. I guess you want to look at. This is from Walking Dead 119. It's the first page uh, of that book. 
You get both pieces of art, the pencil piece by Charlie, the, uh, the inks by Stefano. The opening bid on this one's 275. Um, these are on 11 by 17 each. So uh, I'm right, Mark. I'm not, I'm not speaking out of line here. Maybe I should you let are... you do all the introductions on this. Oh, no, you're doing great, Bill. Uh, you're yeah, better that's... at talking than me. So, yeah, you're right on. Both 11 by 17s come together. Yep. Yeah. Now, these are uh, with you or are they with, with uh, Stefano? Yeah, these are with me. Right. Yes, I have um, most of the art in my possession. There's some pieces at the end that are... Um, by Tony and Moritat that uh, Moritat Justin has in his possession, but otherwise um, the giveaways and the oh, no. so uh, Walking Dead it. stuff um, are in my possession. Oh, oh. Jason got his opening bid in just before uh, Mr. Brucci, but thank you, uh, Nick, for coming in second. We appreciate it, Jason. And again, these are all good deals, everybody. Uh, like we said, we're starting these around 30% of the uh, price that Mark would list these on the website. So uh, it's- uh, If you're it's not good... that familiar with the book, uh, this is the main character, Rick, who you're getting a half uh, page spread uh, and a mound of zombies in the background uh, in the bottom panel. So uh, it is really a nice page. I think it's rare to see the, the pencils and the inks and, and to get both. I see a lot of guys sell one and the other, but I like that this is like a combo. You get the pencil and you get the inks. If, you, if you're an inker, definitely something to learn there. And then if you're a pencil, it's definitely something, you know, to see what to do. I, I think it's a great little combo you're offering. Yeah, I've always appreciated that too. That's one of the bigger problems in our hobby today is wondering if uh, you're, you know, when you see a uh, piece and you don't know if it's blue lined or not, and then you don't get the pencils. Mark's always been pretty fortunate not only with uh, Charlie's work and Stefano's inks, but you know, like with Paulo and his father, Joe, you end up getting the uh, pencil and ink pieces on those as well. So uh, I've always appreciated that because a lot of, you know, you, you just never know when pieces are going to be separated. Uh, you never, as collectors, we don't like that. Yeah. Uh, so Maki poopoo has got us at $300. We didn't really set up a, uh, hey, we're going to, you know, uh, kind of 10 count in our heads, but I guess we can say that right now. Uh, for those of uh, you out there, we'll we'll do that and uh, and we'll just call it and move on to the next one when we uh, we, we get to that point. Sound good, Mark? Yeah, sounds good. Um, we should probably throw a reminder. I guess the start of every piece about um, the free giveaway pieces. Uh, not only uh, more tat drawing a piece, but also uh, the. Uh, the ones that we set up front. So uh, I know we've already had a couple late add-ins already. Uh, but yeah, uh, once we go to the next piece, I guess we'll mention it each time if that works for you, Bill. Yeah, that's cool. No problem. All right, so I'm just giving it a five count and we are done. And all it's right. all in my head. I'm not counting out live, but everything, everybody, you know, every, as everybody should remember too, especially on these auctions. And I, I'm glad that Alberto threw his bid in there. Just remember everybody, we're like five to eight seconds ahead of you. So when I say it's a 10 count, you really only have two. Don't snipe. Just throw your highest bid in there early and get get it uh, where where you want it, so that uh, you don't end up losing out. Because we'll end up calling it. You won't hear it for another six seconds or something, and then uh, you'll be the one feeling sorry for yourself because you didn't get the art. We didn't get the extra revenue for Tony, and that's really what this is all about tonight. So, uh, uh, those of you who uh, haven't done it already, click that live button in the lower left hand corner. That will get you as live as possible with the uh, with everybody else in the chat and with us as well. And hey, look at this! Challengers Comics has dropped awesome. in a one hundred dollar donation. Thank you so Thanks, much. Challengers. Oh yeah, that's great. Challengers. <laughs> Challengers. Well, we're going. Uh, yeah, we're going to close this one out in uh, in a few seconds here as well. Alberto is the high bidder at three twenty five, and uh, we appreciate that. Of course, uh, and, you know every uh, unique. Uh, winning uh, purchase threats, certainly during the uh, uh, the auction portion here is going to you know get uh, in line for a giveaway or potential free sketch. Uh, I think we can call this one for Alberto at three twenty five. Thank you, Alberto. And um, and again, Alberto's already got a more tat seven by ten sketch. So congrats on that as well. We'll, we'll talk with you about that uh, a little bit after the show. And um, let's go ahead and just take a look at the second lot shall we this one's got a lower opening bid 
And it's uh, the bidding starts at 175 on this one. It's from Walking Dead 137. It's page 10 on 11 by 17. Again, Adler and Stefano on this one. And I like this one. I just love all the different texture stuff going on on this one. Uh, sometimes it, it clearly, Stefano, that uh, Charlie challenges you to uh, to do do a little different things in the in the background. And the cool thing is when you see the pencils with it, you actually get to see the fact that uh, he's really giving you all the details and how he wants to see you ink that page as well. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear my voice, or my, but uh, yeah, Charlie yeah. is incredibly easy to uh, to ink. It just all the information was there. And uh, it's, it's it's actually embarrassing when I look at the stuff. I I told them, you know, look, you you could just change the contrast on this in Photoshop and print it. But said, no, no, I'd, I'd rather you know have it be hand inked. And I'm like, great, you know, we'd be happy to do it. It was a, a great experience for me because I really got to go deep into the way Charlie works as an artist and seeing something that I hadn't seen in Charlie's work when he was inking himself. I think that when he knew that he was finishing his own pencils. Uh, Probably there was less going into the pencils, but when I started inking, he went back to a larger page size. I, I believe he was working smaller when he was inking himself, and uh, really eleven by fourteen on, on uh, eight and on a half by fourteen. Right, and, and now those are I think eleven by seventeen pages. Uh, even if right. it's a little smaller, I used to actually have to blow them up. You can see the things that are a little bigger than the pencils because I needed them to be as large as possible just to be able to get the detail that Charlie was getting in there. And uh, yeah, just beautiful work all around. And for those asking question, questions in the chat, um, uh, Carl lost his eye. I can't remember if it was an arrow or what, but it was part of the storyline um, where he got shot in the eye yeah. and lost one of his eyes. And so at this stage, He's covering it up with uh, one shaded glass, um, but uh, that is why he has a hole in his head, if you're wondering, uh, because we've had multiple people uh, joking or making comments about his eye. So that is what was up, and that was his love interest for a period of time, which was also um, one of the main villain's daughters. Uh, so yeah. villainesses, sorry. Um, but yeah, another uh, great page. Great page. Yeah. Agreed. So uh, we'll go ahead and say it's a 10 count here. Edgar is in uh, top running here, $250. Thank you, Edgar, for that. Sid, we appreciate it. Yeah, it's a park. And remember, the first person to win $400 uh, gets an additional prize in addition to the 7 by 10 that um, Moritat is going to do for you. So um, That is true. All right, we're going to go ahead and call this one for Edgar. Thank you very much, Edgar. And then, uh, you know, Mark, why don't you let me know, too, uh, what's the email address you want to make sure everybody emails you after the show tonight? Splashpageart at gmail.com would be great. All right. I'll make sure I get a little slide ready for us uh, to show throughout the show as well. But anybody who wins anything tonight, yes, we're going to watch the email splashpageart at gmail.com. Once we're done, let, let us know which uh, lots you've won. And uh, when you do it, send in your mailing address too. It makes everything easier to have Mark with all the information in hand when he uh, sends his first yep. reply to you. For sure. And yeah. I have to tell everybody, I just saw that uh, Tony did pop into the green room. And hey, 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 Tony. Hey. The man hey. of the hour. Oh, <laughs> it's so amazing to see you guys. How you doing, Tony? Hey. Hey. Where? There he is. Oh, <laughs> Bill. Mark, this Brian, nice Jimmy, you. I like the head. I Bill, uh, I, yeah. I have, yeah, I have different way. hats for everything I write, different different genres. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that your okay. Jonah Hex hat? or This what is, is my that? Western hat. I have a, if it's a holiday issue, I have a Santa hat over there. I have a couple of different caps. You know, you got to get into it. Very nice. <laughs> the to, the well, story I'm working on with Tony right now, I wear a bikini. <laughs> I was gonna have. I was gonna have. Hey, can I see? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bid on that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, we'll sign uh, eight by ten glossies for anybody who uh, buys anything tonight. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Find me out. So. Uh, 
Well, welcome to the show, Tony. We're glad you could make it. Yeah. We, we didn't expect you to. I, I'm, I'm so glad you were able to break away from that. You know, I, I walked past my desktop, which is to my left, and the feet had been live for like two minutes, and I realized that it was happening. So I had to wrap up what was, I was doing in the back, and 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 yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you guys are here. It's good to see all of you. Well, we totally yeah. understand if you need to jet out at any minute, but yeah, it's great to see you, Tony. You you you'll know when it happens. They'll, they'll, <laughs> or, or, yeah, and I'll just like go. But it's it's great to sit down and, and, and see all of you. And uh, you know, oh, I, I, don't, I don't have a hat, so I can't. Yeah, I mean, I can't but, uh, we'll make sure you have one for the next show if we ever have to do another one. Everybody's gonna get one, not just Jimmy and I. You know, everybody's gonna get along. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, should we go to the third auction lot? I think that was uh, kind of one of the bigger pieces. And uh, let's see here. What is lot three? Oh, this is from Walking Dead 139, page two. Yep. This, yeah, this is Ezekiel, which is uh, another key character. And he's a uh, splash page killing a zombie so a lot of things that you want to see when you're buying a walking dead page um so a great page uh, not not that many splash pages uh, maybe one an issue uh, at most so um so yeah uh, this is a much more expensive page on the website um so i, I know this is not a lower uh opening bid but um not only is it uh, still a great deal, but you're also would be the one to get free stuff from me uh, and a great um, head and shoulders piece from uh, from Moritat. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Right. This pizza that is great. Cool. <laughs> so brave. Stephen, are you gonna have some pizza? Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> And we already know Alberto and Edgar both are getting the uh, seven by tens from Moritat too. So yeah. we're going to give two of those away already. So what maybe what we'll do is if we don't if we don't get any bids on it, we'll just move along to the uh, the next one. And then uh, what we'll do is uh, you know everybody knows it's out there. If you're a Walking Dead fan, or if you know a Walking Dead fan, this might appeal to you. you can you can do a shout out on your socials and let them know he should be joining us. Well, or she. It's, or shouldn't. Uh, I think that only guys like to see a, uh, you know, a uh, pierced skull like this, but uh, very graphic. If uh, Bill, like, if you don't mind uh, reposting the uh, uh, Josh Middleton piece that people will get uh, for free oh, sure. if, if they um, get yeah, an accumulative yep. uh, four hundred dollars. So uh, a couple people, um, yeah, are already close to that. So. Um, We've got a couple more freebies, but uh, if you, uh, let's see, I think I have a thousand dollar giveaway. Oh, that's the, oh, more tad. So why don't we share yeah, that? So, <laughs> if, sorry. I'm, so if you, if you win the piece at the opening of a thousand, not only you're getting that, but you're also getting this great fully painted uh, 11 by 17 piece of Wonder Woman. So. Um, so it's a two for one in that case. Well, as soon as it's cumulative, if it, even if they inch up and get the uh, Middleton, they right. can still get more at that too. So, that uh, is all right, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll just go ahead and leave this one out there. We know it's still available. Okay. Go ahead and take a look at lot uh, four for the bidding. This is uh, an opening bid of $160 on this page from issue 142, page 18 on 11 by 17, like the others. Oh. And uh, you've got, uh, uh, well, uh, what is again? Yeah, it's for Hey, Alberto so, just chimed in that uh, he's going to throw a thousand at the splash. All right. Well, Alberto is the man. So, uh, uh, Alberto, lots of love there. Appreciate you. So, um, so Alberto gets the Middleton and the. Uh, is that is that that's the way we got it, right? Alberto. And well, why don't we? Since he bid, why don't we give a 10 count or five count, give someone else an opportunity to counter, and then call it for Alberto. Well, well, I'm fine, but I can't. Like, 
Wow. No bid, man. Come on. I, I, I hate seeing the art go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's always hard. Are you doing the 10 count in your head there, Mark? I think we're probably pretty yeah. close. Yeah, yeah. That's You can count it down if you want to, Bill. Okay. I, I did oh. in my head. So, okay. All right. Right. so last chance, anyone. Here we go. Wait, uh, we're wait. just about to get a hell of a deal. Hey, Mark, no I can't figure there. out the website. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm trying to actually bid on this because I'm like, no, you know, <laughs> what's, what, how do I do that? Just like, <laughs> well, trick here. <laughs> if you want, if you want to buy that piece back for a thousand dollars, then <laughs> right. I guess I can proxy for you. If, if Bill, are you okay with that? Hey, no, I was money? actually, but what I was going to bid on, I think, really it's not any rules. Rules, but I think he's getting Ricky on the splash. If no one else is challenging him on that, that's great. This okay. new stuff for 160, are, are there any bids on that yet? Well, not yet. Let's uh, pause that, <laughs> Stefano. Let's finish, finish out, out Alberto. I'm just like, I'm wow, good, that's a great I'm deal. I'm trying to wrap up the $1,000 one. Though. All right, yeah, worry about that. <laughs> I'm just like, right, Alberto, just, so, Alberto is the uh, winning bidder on that one. I think okay. we can call it. Alberto, all, right? congratulations. That's yeah. a hell of a deal for you. Uh, See, you Jimmy? Three for one. I like it. You, I saw you change to the skipper hat, so I, I got my building hat. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Hey, Justin, I guess that makes you ginger. Come on in here. There you go. <laughs> Indeed. So, uh, so then again, Alberto gets the Middleton and the uh, Wonder Woman by Mortad. Oh, and that's he also, a deal. Yeah, he also gets a seven by ten. So Al Alberto, he knows how to he knows how to do these things. So, congrats, Alberto. Uh, we appreciate that. We do have uh, another giveaway. Well, and again, anybody who. Uh, win something at the $200 level, we'll get a uh, sketch as well. Only get one. It's not incremental. It's not like if you get to a thousand, you get five of them. You know, if you only get one, you get but uh, yeah, that's what we get for not writing down the rules or anything before we get started here. But uh, we'll keep things rolling here. Um, let's see, lot four for the bidding. And this is we only have two more of these left. So lot four opening bid on this one. Uh, we I just went over this already. $160. It's from issue 142, page 18. What's going on in this one, Mark? All right, so we have uh, multiple main characters, Rick, Michonne. Um, those are the two main ones, but we also have, uh, oh my God, my brain is wearing the hat, no less. Um, That's Andrea. Stefano, how many, Adrian. Uh, it, no, Andrea, uh, not Adrian, Andrea. 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 Yes. Yeah, Andrea. She was like, she was, you know, Andrea. really great character. In the yes. series, especially. I mean, she was one of the primary ones. Yes. Uh, just great story arc. And uh, yeah, so that's that's three main characters right there. And Eugene as well. So. Oh, Eugene is there? Hang on. Where's. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him now. That's it. Yeah. This ponytail. Yeah, those are all, you know, those are all like from basically the first 50 issues. You know, I can't remember when Michonne came on, but. Uh, you know, they're all early characters from The Walking Dead that made it, you know, some of them through the end. And it looks like we are up to 220 now from Josh Flanders. Um, so that's great. Thanks, Josh. Uh, he jumped above a couple other people. You still have an opportunity to beat Josh, guys, if you want to chime in. So, Stefano, were you wanting to make a bid higher than 220? Yeah, or are you allowed. okay? <laughs> Am I legally allowed to do this? I feel kind of bad. I don't want to like you know, but if I can bid, I would bid 300 of this. Wait, why? Wait, what are you doing? Because my kids are going to like that's their inheritance, man. Like, any piece of original art that I have is going to be worth a lot more after, you know, that like we're all dead in 50 years. Yeah. Like, I've got the heritage already, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good investment. You can make more money buying art than selling art nowadays if you're willing to leave it in the vault for 40 years, you know? Well, yeah. Just like <laughs> artist. Okay, so I I'm going to proxy for him then, Bill, if that's okay. We're going to call it $300 Stefano is bidding. Um, so if you guys Kick it up. want to go above that, that is uh, where we're at. I feel awkward chiming in on this, you know. I don't know about uh, getting a sketch from uh, 
from more attack, you'll have to work that out on your own, Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> you want one? <laughs> you need toilet paper? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to get that sketch out of you. That's, that's, uh... I'll start right now. <laughs> so, Josh or anybody else, if you want to uh, jump above Stefano, uh, that will be his bid. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, we will call it here in a little bit. All right. Show him what you're doing, Stefano. He's gonna, he's gonna throw, he's gonna throw in these beautiful self-portraits. Yes, that's right. <laughs> well, we can't see what you're drawing right now because uh, Bill has the, the piece up, but uh, you can show it in just a sec. Yeah, Marcus says he should ask for the jack of hearts, and uh, Josh has gone to three twenty-five. I think. Okay, Josh is gonna outbid you. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, I, anything Justin's drawing, definitely look at it before you put it on camera. <laughs> he, he tends to be kind of abrupt. All right. Well, uh, Bill, do we want to do that ten yeah, count? Yeah, it's a ten count right now. That's that's uh, that is true. If we don't get any other bids. Josh is uh, the winner on this one. And he is also uh, the you. winner of another Josh. more attack. Seven by ten. That's good. Thank you so much. That's good. All right. I'm going to give this one to Josh. Thank you, Josh. All right. I Thanks, did Josh. give Josh today, too. I'm going to so, print a sketch for Josh. All right. Plus yeah. a sketch. I think you All right, well, you can bring that one down then, I guess. Bill, you want yeah. to show off what... Uh, yeah, we'll show off the last, last piece. Last Stefano's, well, why don't you show what Stefano's drawing okay. he's trying to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I'm just doing some my usual zombie sketches, you know? It's like something I can do without thinking much. Just do oh, yeah. It the, awesome. And I'm, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't have the, the skill that Justin has to actually do whatever it is he's doing. It, like what, what, bust, does that mean? what does that mean? <laughs> what I mean is that if I try to do an actual bust in like, you know, the 10 minutes that we have at our disposal, it would look like this. And that, you know, it works for a zombie, but it doesn't work for, you know, Wonder Woman. <laughs> well, I don't think he did the Wonder Woman in 10 minutes, but he is fast. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful Wonder Woman. I, it's impressive. Hey Bill, can, can I put something up for uh, for the people out there, and I'll donate this. Oh for, wow, for Tony. Awesome. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be inking it while I'm talking to you guys. All right. So years ago, this is this was done in 19, I want to say 96 or 97, and we I couldn't read your hat before. We, we <laughs> did a, we did a wrap around. It was a wrap around cover for Ash. Ah. Uh, and and uh, we did these, and I have like I have only like five of these in existence. I think. Wow. Where you can see Joe Casada sketched on it. That's the original sketch right there. Wow. I'm sorry, right here. I don't know if you can see it that well. It's a little bright, but I yeah. see there's some. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh my God, you're gonna ink. You're so gonna it's ink a, a Joe sketch of Ash, and it's and it's um, it's it's a it's a flat sheet. So we did it as a book. We only did a hundred of these, but I only have five sheets. I have five flat sheets left in existence. So Joe already penciled it and signed it. It's signed in 1996. <laughs> You've had it for almost thirty no, years. I, no, I'm going to donate it. this to Tony. Whoever wants a bid on it, I'm going to I'm going to be inking it while we we're all doing this. Is and, well, then, uh, and then we can put it up for auction at the end for the money going for Tony. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. okay. Fantastic. Thank so, you. So I mean, you don't. First off, you don't see too many original show sketches, and I haven't no inked many of them. This is just really rare. I yeah. will say it's like a really oddball thing. But I will I will make it so much better than the pencils. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to. It actually, it actually looks pretty amazing. I'm sorry it's not coming in. O original by Joe Casada and Jimmy Palmiotti. That's ah, amazing. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, and I'll ship it to whoever wins. You know, I'll ship it over. Wow. So I'm going to be inking that okay. while you guys don't don't mind my uh, anti. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, well, we have a bid, but uh, I'm going to put in 400 myself, okay? I'm going to call a $400 bid on that. Oh, I'm going to work on this while you guys are uh, raising some money, so. All right, so we can go to uh, lot five now. Where are we at here? Oh, there it is. 
So this is the last auction for a Walking Dead uh, pair of pieces. This one, the opening bid is four seventy-five, and this is from issue one fifty-eight. It's page thirteen. Rather a violent set of uh, circumstance going on there. I actually had to go read this issue just to see what was going on in it because I, I didn't read it originally off the shelves, but I did uh, did did get the scoop on this one. Very dramatic. Yeah, so yeah. you're and getting uh, you're getting Negan and Rick teaming up uh, to fight against um, uh, zombies and also the uh, Whisperers. Um, so you know Negan and Rick are the two most popular characters fighting a bunch of zombies you know pretty much in every panel so uh this is really uh, a top tier pan uh top tier page um that you're going to get at this is a fraction uh, of what um it was up at on the website oh. so. <laughs> all right jason <laughs> hey, I'm playing uh, around. <laughs> uh, uh mark yes jump in at 750 what? I'm jumping in at 750. Can I get your underwear for that? No, no. It's, uh, that's, <laughs> I get to keep my underwear for that. <laughs> Come on, I'll get to see it on the screen stuff. No, we All right. uh, I'm working. I, I'm a slow typer. Cash on the barrel, man. His money might not be go no good. No, you don't good for it, right, Mark? <laughs> well, I know you're good for it because I have a chunk of your money <laughs> set aside. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, there we go. All right. That's pretty. All right. Thank you, Mark. Yes, you're quite welcome. Why do you like that so much? It's like I'm telling you, that's 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 like putting gold in the bank. That's that's just you know, I'm just greedy, that's all. And I love the artwork. <laughs> because of, because I'm self-obsessed that day, you know. Today. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, uh Stefano's oh, bid has uh, silenced the uh, the chat. Yeah, yeah I, I apologize to the other guys, but you know that's just something. I, yeah, I, what are you gonna do for Jason? I, I couldn't couldn't let go. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to. Oh wow, that's awesome! Hey, that's Brian's got something that he's gonna throw in for the the lucky. Whether it's gonna be me or someone else who buys this page, I don't know if you guys want to show it. Uh, Brian's got a Punisher uh, kind of character page with multiple drawings of the Punisher. Oh, here. awesome! From Brian Peace. Nice. Oh, Very yeah. Cool. For character design. Yeah. Great. Yeah. We're throwing that. And uh, if it's a new buyer, you're also going to get a uh, more attached 7 by 7 by 10 color piece, uh, single character. And uh, these are the 11 by 17 ones, Jason's asking, not the smaller ones. Is that That's correct, right, Mark? I remember you told me all the uh, Walking Dead pieces are, are 11 by 17. Yes. If he's asking about the, okay, yes, he's asking about the Walking Dead, then yes, it is a, no, two 11 by 17 boards. One is pencils, one is inks. This is not the, oh, so oh. the eight and a half by 14 was just when uh, Charlie pencil and inked himself. Uh, so Stefano didn't work over eight, eight and a half by 14 boards at all. Remember when you didn't ink that panel, Stefano? <laughs> You're like, I'm not inking that. So, uh, Jason, if you are interested, uh, you yeah. got one last shot to uh, jump above Stefano for this page. But uh, they what? Are, what? We haven't finalized it yet, brother. It's the, not, it's I'm, not I'm Mark's gold right. yet. Um, I love you, Stefano, but I do want to make money for Tony. For other people, no. And actually, I, I kind of make more money, money than yours. It's <laughs> You know, verse, verse, I don't want to take all the Walking Dead pages, but I just, I honestly like have a hard time seeing that go for, you know. Are you a narcissist? I'm You're a narcissist. I'm a narcissist. You, you I'm a walking, your own art? walking Dead fan, you know. I just like, you know, and uh, yeah, apparently I have good credit with Mark K. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just, you know, taking advantage <laughs> of the whole thing. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, well, we're going to give it a 10 count. And then it's. Uh, we got no winner, then I guess. Oh, uh, it looks just like Tony. <laughs> Justin, I'm, I'm getting that sketch from you, right? <laughs> I'll just show it one more time so everybody is uh, reminded of the piece. That's yeah, terrific. Mm -hmm. All right, we are going to call this one for uh, Stefano. Congratulations. Who gets Brian's artwork then? <laughs> Right here. We can push that to the next one. 
Oh, yeah. righty, that Unless is true. Unless Stefano is... Uh... I'm, I'm going to sit the next one out. <laughs> well, I think that was the last Walking Dead one, so oh, you're going to have to sit the next one out. We show five already? I, thought you, I must have been... Oh. Yeah. That was the fifth one. That was yeah. the fifth one. I thought it was the fourth one. So, oh well, I'm glad. I'm glad they're all there. And thank, thank you to Charlie for, uh, you know, it, it just uh, obviously Tony's a studio partner, and you know, like like it says, Hotel Moscow. We're a bunch of communists here, so we like to pool our resources. That's actually not but, where the uh, name came from. Okay, no. Brian has the real name. All that it's an homage to the uh, the anime Black and, and manga Black Lagoon. Uh, but uh, Charlie, who is not a Seattle guy, he lives over in the UK. I just uh, called him up and uh, told him it would come to his benefit, and he very generously uh, agreed to donate um, his part of the artwork. So I just realized that ethically, I'm kind of taking advantage of Charlie here. I'm going to have to think this through. But uh, what are we going to do for Charlie? Yeah, we're going to do, something for we're Charlie. Gonna do a dance. Yeah, we'll do a dance. Yeah. But he'll appreciate You're that. You're going to run a marathon. Yeah. Send him a more tad <laughs> sketch. Yes, exactly. Uh, we, you guys don't want to throw, he's not going to want <laughs> We have one more auction piece, and uh, then we're going to get into some claim sets. And then, of course, we'll end with an auction piece, which is the one that Jimmy's working on right now. But uh, this next piece was donated actually by uh, Mr. Marquet. This is a uh, piece by Paulo Rivera, uh, an invisible woman, 9 by 12. Why don't you do it This hey, one's uh, an opening bid of $300. Pieces. That's really good. You me so say? if you uh, follow Paolo's stuff, uh, this is an older piece, but still Paolo's painted. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, paintings go for quite a lot. Uh, nine by 12, especially. He's been working mostly four by sixes these days. Uh, and the four by sixes usually sell for more than $300. So, um, so yeah, 350 uh, Maki Pupu is currently <laughs> leading <laughs> but uh but yeah that's a steal because uh uh paulo stuff goes for quite a, a lot more than that uh and you know invisible woman uh, and we hopefully have a decent fantastic four movie eventually uh so uh yeah you you're getting a great piece of artwork here Do you guys anybody watch that uh what was that new trailer that came out today Do you guys know Nope. Dead, dead, the, uh, Wolverine, Deadpool. <laughs> Wait, oh, Stefano, Stefano fell for it. He's like, what are you talking about? I, I just yeah. like, no, no, I'm a little out of the loop. <laughs> yeah, I saw Jimmy posted about it on Twitter. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> X. Oh, you need to watch it, Stefano. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. I got the uh, Rob Heffler feet joke. Watch it. Yeah. Several times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it actually makes me want to watch a movie again. Yeah. And how did you get this one, Mark? Well, yeah. uh, to, to be completely honest with you, um, Paolo did it for my daughter years ago, uh, oh, back wow. when she was, wow, she was 11. And, you know, obviously taste change. So uh, my daughter uh, isn't a Fantastic Four fan anymore, unfortunately. Um, so I had it and it's not something I'm going to resell because it was a gift back then. Um, and so I felt like this was a perfect opportunity to throw Tony some love and donate it to um, the best cause. Um, and Yay! obviously an amazing piece um, by Paolo. And, you know, it's actually the only piece I currently uh, own by Paolo. Um, that's a sketch. Um, so I'm, I'm giving up my, my one sketch right now um for for tony because i love him so um oh, perfect. thank you so that's that's wonderful it's commendable it's yeah. I, commendable commendable <laughs> it always comes up now. all right well maki Pupu, uh you know you are the uh, high bidder so far at 350. we don't get another bid in about 15 seconds we're going to call this one and uh maki Pupu will get this one and a uh, seven by ten for more attack a uh, color piece as well I'm counting in my head, Mark. How about you? Asking these guys what they want to sketch of. Uh, we we could well we could start doing that. I figured we yeah. Mark would collect all that at the end. But Morita, if you want to get uh, you know be working on stuff while the show's going on, I mean anybody. Well, Alberto could e could email Mark, uh, Edgar, uh, Joshua, and of course uh, uh, 
uh, Maki Poo Poo because I'm giving this one to Maki Poo Poo. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's a hell of a video for you, Maki Poo Poo. Wonderful. Congratulations. So uh, anyone who's who's uh, picked up something tonight can uh, email Mark and he can relay that over to Mortat what, uh, what character you would like drawn. And it's a... I'll just remind everybody that it's a seven by ten, and again, it's uh, head and shoulders, yeah. head and shoulders, and in color. So uh, that's a uh, reference. So shoot Mark an email, splashpageart at gmail .com, and he'll set you up. Yeah, if uh, we get to watch you eat now. Yeah, what are you? Justin asking? is wanting to physically start working on one now. Um, <laughs> then, hey Ben. Then, uh, I got a question. Get up and spoke for him. Bill, I got a question. Yeah. Looking out your window for military. I got I got a split from here soon. So can yeah. we can we do this now? The one for the ash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. That's uh, actually good. Wow, you're fast. Wow. Uh, dang, Jimmy. Wow, I can see it now. It's tremendous. Jimmy, you ever hit this far? And I uh, and I signed it. Uh well it's I signed it. I, I can't see it too well. I signed yeah. it 24 and Joe signed it. 96. So there's a little gap. <laughs> a little gap. From, uh, from pencils in it. And on the other side, it's marked artist print. So I just put because it's a zero. Mm. So it's an artist print. All right. Yeah. Nick Berucci's throwing in a $500 bid. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, I haven't done an, I haven't inked an ash figure in a, a long time. How um, about that? A, a good 25 years, maybe. Um, and again, like I said, it's kind of to get Joe to dry ash, and you know, it, it's sort of like the kind of cool thing. It's a cool collectible as it is because it's not really, it's it's and it's white on the back, so you can so you can take your crayons out and draw on the back if you like. <laughs> but, uh, Hopefully not. First thing I do. That's the first thing I do, Jimmy. That, that's awesome, man. Yeah. So, kind of cool, and and uh, Bill, just get me who buys it, and I'll send the uh, I'll send it to whoever. We'll do. Somebody, not, not somebody problem, beat Nikki on this, please. Uh, I'll go six hundred on it. How's that? Uh, yeah. So, there you go. I'll do six hundred. All right, Mark, it's six hundred. Sorry, That's sorry, Nick, but thank you. Awesome, Jimmy, yeah. you still got it, man. <laughs> I got something. Was that in doubt? I'm not sure what it is. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually inking Tony right now, so you know, um, probably probably destroying it on some level. But I'm trying to I'm trying to cover it up with coloring it at the same time. So, I'm, uh, it's it's uh, it'll work out. I swear, Tony, it's gonna look great. Trust yeah, I, I trust you wholly. I I, I do. Yeah. Got a history. All right. Well, I guess we can. Well, uh, Fifteen six hundred and one wins it, Nixie, Nikki. Uh, up six fifty. Nikki's up to six fifty. Nick, Nick is in for six fifty on this one. All right, fair warning. Marcus is uh, acting as the heritage uh, beats <laughs> for us. Thank it, you. It, it, is, it is a. It literally is a kind of a one of a kind. So it's yeah. very cool. You know. That is very cool. Yeah. All right. Going to get Tony a nice steak dinner. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> and hopefully hopefully that time gap won't be anything near the, the time gap we're experiencing right now with the work I'm giving you. No, I'm not worried. <laughs> you're going to come, come through. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Let, you know, you. Everybody, everybody's got to kind of, you know, do things at their own speed. You know how it goes. Life gets in the Whoa. way sometimes, buddy. Whoa, Mark up to All right, Mark's getting serious. Uh, Mark's 1050. That's it. I, I just heard... I just heard a Nikki jump off a brig, bridge in the pit first. So. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't in Baltimore. Sorry, Nick. This is a tiny little cool. splash. Hey, it's a great piece. And I, I read that book. I, I, I really enjoyed that from uh, both you guys back in the day. So, um, yeah. Uh, the original art from the, those books do, do not come up too often. Uh, actually, they never come up because... Uh, we never sold a page of artwork for MASH ever. Oh well, then there you go. Joe, Joe and, and I yeah, have yeah, the entire. Yeah. We have the we we have the entire series uh, together. We've never let go a page. Well, that's there. Then that's yeah. That's there, there, right. there was one page. There was a page that went for sale once, and that's how we found out that somebody stole it. It was stolen, and uh, 
Wow. We had to take care of that. But but we actually own all the art from the books because we figured That's one awesome. day. We'll figure it out and get back together and, you know, who knows? Um, but let's that's, see. Nikki Bennett, 777. Seven, seven. Yep, 777 seven for Mr. Nice, Berucci. Yeah. Kevin, nice, man. Oh, Classy. Yeah. I feel like I should have inked it slower, Nick. but there's, there was not much there to do. <laughs> I'm fortunate to have a Joe Casada pencil piece that Nikki – uh, I mean, that uh, Jimmy inked for me years ago. I don't know if you remember that. I uh, do. Uh, Wolverine. So I do. I, I, I remember that. Let, I guess I will let Nikki have this one. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> All right. Nick can step back from the, end of the bridge now. Book, so. All right, Nikki. That's uh, <clears throat> that's good. And, and uh, you know, happy, happy to give this to you, to Tony, boy. You know, it came through with me so many times. Uh, doing work and this stuff is just brilliant. I, I, you know, Tony. I think, like I said, you, uh, you guys, you're just so talented and um, you bring stuff to life. I mean, I, I can't wait to everybody to see the whole deep sea story because that looks amazing. And and um, and the new thing we're working on is for uh, Sex and Violence Volume Four for Kickstarter for us. So Tony's doing a story in that that kicks ass. So uh, uh, just that's right. yeah, that's my best boss. Yeah. Man. Thank you. Thank you, no, Jimmy. Thank All you right. so much. Uh, Nikki, I'll, I'll get this to you, buddy. Uh, as soon as as soon as we see the actual cash. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Good call. Uh, you know, Nikki probably has more artwork by me and Joe than anybody. I, I got to be honest. Probably he has more than I have. That's for oh. sure. Um, but we love Nikki. Nikki's, uh, you know, he's he's he's. Like for everything Nikki does, he's a fanboy at heart, which I love about him. You know, he's he's uh he's he's a guy that appreciates his stuff. We had so much fun at OAX doing the auction. Uh that was that was a real blast, uh doing that together. And uh yeah, I'm glad I'm glad you got it, Nikki and Mark. You know, uh, we'll we'll take care of you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Guys, I, I have to actually run. Love you guys. And, uh, and, and we'll see you soon. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, more pages coming for you, uh, Justin. So, all right. All right. Happen. All right, guys. You take care. All Have right. a great night. Thanks, good, Jimmy. Thanks, Thank Jimmy. You. Appreciate you. Take care, guys. See you, Jimmy. All right. So, let's see. Here. The formatting right here. Here we go. Um, okay. Well, that, that concludes the auction side of things. We've got a few fixed price pieces as well. And uh, we do have an extra giveaway that's kind of part of that now. And I can go ahead and show this so everybody can see it. Oh. This was uh, a uh, John Cassidy Captain America pencil sketch on a 11 by 14 board from uh, 2002, donated by Mr. Mark A. Now you should wear the Captain America mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, gone it. No, yeah. <laughs> you have to, Bill. <laughs> I'm giving away I Captain America. Come on. I did. He wasn't even thinking about that. That's that's cruel and inhuman, man, right there. <laughs> uh, so at any rate, but this was geared towards the first claim buyer who uh, you know claims three hundred dollars worth of the fixed price art gets this John Cassidy piece from two thousand two, and it and it is Captain America, and yeah, hmm, just when Alberto is gone, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Alberto being the big Captain America collector, well, he 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 got what he wanted. You got uh, you got that Wonder Woman piece. You got uh, you got the uh, the Middleton piece and a uh, and another sketch by Moritat. So uh, yeah, wear the mask. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see if somebody actually claims because I don't think any one piece that we have as a fixed price is uh, at three hundred dollars. Is that true? Or yeah, it's I, a cumulative is fine on that bill. Um, a cumulative to get to or past three hundred for claim stuff. So if you claim two oh, right. there's a couple pieces. Hundred and fifty dollar are... pieces, then bam, you've got it. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess if, if 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 we get to the point where somebody gets it, I'll yeah. put on the mask that fits, not the one I showed earlier. Because <laughs> I can't He's got get that multiple one. Captain America masks. Well, somebody felt bad for me and actually bought uh, one that fit me. That's because you were nice. tired of seeing me struggle with the other one. <laughs> I looked like the gimp from uh, Pulp Fiction. Or something, <laughs> that thing, except it was blue with a big A on my forehead. So, uh, yeah. 
All right. So, uh, so yeah. So everything that we're going to show from here on out, price on it is the price. It's not a not bidding. Uh, this is work uh, that uh, you know is either all Tony or it's got uh, uh, inks by Mortat in uh, many of the cases. So I'll let Mark describe them as I pull the slides up. Uh, we're going to start with lot number seven here. And, yeah, actually, uh, I probably need some help from Justin here, but uh, I believe. Wait, we've got the original Tony pencils, and, and it was Jeffrey Moy that bought me the, the 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 cap mask that fits. Thank you, Jeffrey. Uh, Jeff, I never have to wear the other one again. Here's so what is that? It's this page. Oh, let's. He's going to show the actual original as he has it in his hands. If you want to show that, Bill. Yeah, but so this one is uh, priced to two hundred dollars from Red Hood Fifty Two, page one, and uh, I do think the art, but the, the art is in the room, right? Let's see. Um, and it's uh, Tony, Tony pencils and your inks, right? Well, Just no, there's, a, there's a little bit of Stefano on here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Brian, do you want to jump in and ink something? In the <laughs> Wait, sorry. Uh, I'm saying everyone else in the studio apparently has worked on this page. So. No, I was wondering was why you haven't. There's another ones I worked on for Red Hood, but I'm not that one. Yeah, there's, there's a new one. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember, honestly. On this, me, oh, Justin did great. some pencils, some inks. So I did inks. Let's see that. That's gotcha. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is probably, um, that's something about Red Hood. So on, I'm boy. not super familiar with the book. Um, who are these characters? Do we know? Just, so this was just reprinted actually um, not too long ago, maybe two or three months ago. It was the last two issues of uh, the Red Hood series that ran around uh, maybe 2014 through 20, I want to say 19, 2020. And, uh, the last two issues, the team that had been doing the book and i can't remember who it was jumped off and sean martin bro was you know tasked with doing this uh story that wasn't really connected it was kind of a reboot for red hood and yeah. uh, shows jason todd moving to uh what is basically the dc comics equivalent of harlem is the way that i was reading it yeah. and a new set of characters is introduced and i unfortunately can't remember tony would know the names of the characters because he's been working on a new red hood series that just got launched um probably at the end of sometime last year and um that features the red hood in this setting with these characters it's been yeah. critically really well received and it just you know it's a great looking series and um this particular two store two issue arc that was done about four years ago three or four years ago has been reprinted as a zero issue for this new red hood series so you should be able to find it in stores now i would think it's a bit mm -hmm. long ago and uh tony do you remember the name of the character that we're seeing here uh, oh yeah the uh the the figure the silhouetted figure with the uh z the zero on her armor uh, oh my god, well, it's twins, it's uh, and that's yeah, twins, Denise, twins. I think, yeah. Yeah, 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 Denise Harlow, who's a uh, who has a twin sister, Dana, who is a an anchor woman on uh, on uh, Gotham's news network. Uh, but Dana is uh, a vigilante, she leads a, a crew that has uh, basically kept the Joker wars from, from spilling into uh. The Hill, which is Gotham's Harlem, it's uh, um, and she uh, she's a longtime friend of Jason Todd. So when he's he moves back, when he buys a a brownstone in the Hill, she uh, she's one of the business owners um, in that neighborhood, and they kind of reconnect. So it's basically, this was one of the first appearances, not this particular page, but the issue was the first appearance of this character, which is yes. going on right now, and hopefully it's going to have some legs going forward. Yeah, and they're a real, uh, her, her crew is uh, <laughs> a very uh, um, grassroots group of vigilantes. Their, their armor is all kind of custom made and cobbled together. You could see a guy in, in like a high school football helmet, but he's got 
uh, you know, ballistic armor on his on his arms. Uh, yeah, it's it's it was pretty fun crew to create. It's raw. All right. Well, this one's still available. Lot number seven. I'm spared from wearing the cap mask one round. <laughs> and, uh, I did want to highlight that uh, Nick Berucci is uh, hes going to be a part of an amateur dueling dealer match with me on Wednesday. And he said that he's going to throw something in. The first $500 he earns from Wednesday's amateur dueling dealers, he's going to donate to Tony as well. Thank well, you so much, Nick. We appreciate thank that. Uh, thank you, Nick. Seriously, thank you. Thank you, boss. All right. So uh, I'll see. Next up was lot eight. Same issue. And uh, this is page six. Oh, this is this is a uh, Annie B's the the diner, um, which <clears throat> at, interesting. The the this, the news stories that are coming out now, we we get to see uh, Annie B's when it was a uh, a criminal hangout, and this is sort of uh, this exactly is the, uh, the the same location that has uh, been restored and is uh, a, a new oh, business. I love the uh, the panel of the uh, woman. Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Panel six, and then her lips, and panel seven. Like, just really nice work. And thank you. Now, thank you. is that who is that? In uh, who is the male character? That's Red Hood. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought so, but I didn't want to assume so. Yeah. He's not in costume, Justin. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, kind of pulling away. Let Mark step into the landmines because you know I don't know. I, I figured it was Jason Todd who is Red Hood. Okay. Yeah. I know my comic stuff, Justin. I just wanted to make sure he's not in costume, so he looks a little older in that shot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the uh the side well, wall yeah. the side walls are making him look a little older yeah. <laughs> all right well gabe carino has claimed lot eight at three hundred dollars and does and everybody knows that means that uh, i'm wearing the cap mask right. just gabe, for thank gabe thank you gabe for uh claiming that sorry uh, alberto you didn't get the uh to get the piece but the cassidy is going to uh, Gabe Carino. See, this one fits. I can wear this one. With good. The, it's a good one. Good. You know, the other one, yeah, it does not work. But uh, Ryan, you can wear that as your motorcycle helmet. I was going to yeah, say, yeah. if I saw him on a motorcycle with that, I would not think twice about it. I would think that would be a, a good good look. That's Brian. Yeah. 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 All right. All done. All right. Thank you, Gabe. We appreciate it. Thank that, you, Gabe. Uh, that one is uh, taken care of. Let's take a look at uh, what do we got? Lot nine at next. So same issue, same diner. Next yeah. page. I just want to point out well, the perspective that Tony did on that first panel is amazing. You don't see too many artists these days actually not just put a photo in behind the characters and do that. He actually drew all that out. That's like spectacular. You don't still see that kind of craftsmanship anymore. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, you know, it, I've been in diners, so I know. <laughs> I, 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 no, I, I meant to tell Jimmy this. Uh, the, the story that Jimmy and I are working on for Sex and Violence, it starts in a strip club, okay? And I had the hardest time figuring out what angles I was going <laughs> to. I shouldn't be too hard. hard. I've never been in a strip club. I, I've never been in a strip club. Man, I am, I am so, I'm trying to bite my lip. Uh, somebody probably has photo reference, just saying. Not, not saying any names. Yeah, right? They might be studio mates of yours, just saying. It happens in Here Hotel you. Moscow, stays in Hotel Moscow. That's right. Unless it winds up in the news. So. That's true. Yeah. I ha I'd have to Google how you put a, a bill in the G string. What? Because <laughs> like I couldn't figure it out, so it was just like, uh, you know, because the the dancer's wearing this thing. Can you do it one handed, or do you have to pull the, the elastic and then slip it in? Yeah. Hey, come over, <laughs> come over later, Tony. I'll show you. Right, <laughs> uh, Portland. I've missed all this. <laughs> uh. Hey, good night, Nick. 
<laughs> See, Nick, is, Nick is signing off. We appreciate everything you did today, Nick. Uh, <laughs> all right, so lot nine so, still available at two seventy five. Let me yeah. chime in real fast. Uh, nobody yeah. has emailed me yet with their oh great um, more tat um, oh. seven by ten uh, character idea yet. So. Um, Please do so, so we can get Justin starting to draw. Uh, I guess somebody could chime in who won a piece in the uh, chat, um, and I'll pass that along. But uh, but please email me with your information so I can get um, Justin uh, starting to color up some pieces for you. All right. So like I said, lot uh, nine is still available, as was seven. We'll go ahead and take a look at lot number... 10 next again kind of the uh, another page from that same sequence this one's priced at 250 it's page eight somebody's leaving in a in a huff yeah it's dana hmm. tell, tell us yeah. your version of the story Tony. what happened well uh the the, the sisters identical identical twins but they're they're at odds because of uh, um, the, <laughs> um. The, the sister who's a news anchor has one take on what's going on in Gotham wh while Dana, who's on the ground fighting oh, and on a rooftop too, she's got a, a, a different sensibility towards how things should go mm -hmm. in the hill. Mm -hmm. Where's the water? But, uh, Notice all the bank heads in the diner. Uh, <laughs> I specifically chose bank heads in a counter to keep from having to draw a freestanding table because <laughs> <laughs> that would have been much more work. Well, you, you need a shortcut every now and again. That's not a bad one to have. No, uh, so yeah, and... Um, Let's see here. So this one is uh, lot 10, still available at 250. And we'll take a look at uh, lot 11 here. And this is uh, from the same book, page 12. 375 is the price on this one. Now you are getting red hood and costume there, right? Yeah. Multiple panels. Who's the thing looking bad guy in panel three? Well, that's um, Killer Croc. Killer oh, Croc. okay. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen him right. in a, all dressed up before. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> you have to read the issue to understand why that's happening. Gotcha. But uh, the guys in the, in the uh, I ain't that one too. Yes, Justin. Yes. No, Brian. Oh, Brian. Brian. Brian actually, I'm in this one. It was. It was all. It was all studio all on, deck. on deck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We, we were listing three degrees to port. There was a fire amidships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the engine room was flooding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are studio mates for, right? Exactly. Uh, That's exactly. Yep. There's, there isn't one comic creator that hasn't uh, had to pitch in on a, on a project like that, right? I mean, it, it happens. So that's, uh, that's, that's good that you had a crew surrounding you. Yeah, it's it's true, and I always I'm still around, which is the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, very, when I first got to the studio, I was always impressed with um, I, I called them the uh, the guest appearances, where I would come in and Justin had uh, you know Starkings, Richard Starkings would be there, but I remember, <laughs> remember uh, there was a woman sitting at Stefano's desk who um, turned out to be Pia Guerra. <laughs> <laughs> it just, she had just come into town for a visit, but Justin had put her to work inking. <laughs> that's but, right. Yeah. That's right. Are you, are you allowed to tell the story? Yeah, that's how I met Pia. Is like, you know, it's just like, it, she was spotting blacks. <laughs> like, Wait a second. I know who you are. I know who you are. She, I barely up. she was so busy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the studios, you know, it's tremendous. Yeah, to have that support still. 
you know, even though I'm 2,700 miles away, yeah, um, we were still we're lucky to have you in Seattle while we were here. Well, we'll lucky it was. Uh, yes. Well, if I ever run into PA, I hope I've got a uh, pen, all pencil page that needs some blacks filled in. So, <laughs> right. I remember that. I might, you know, I might, if I ever see her, and I know she's at a signing or something, I'll make sure I bring a page and see if see if her skills are still up to snuff. <laughs> they are. Uh, she's producing commissions for me these days. Uh, all right, all right. So yeah, she's got skills for sure. All right. All right. Uh, I know that too. That's awesome. I, uh, I always forget about that, Mark. That is, that is pretty cool, man. Um, let's see here. So lot 11 is still available. Let's take a look at lot number 12. Uh, this one's pencils only, right? If I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, they just, there's an ink. We have the inks to that one as well. I think. Oh, okay. I didn't get a scan for that. Oh, let me see. Is it, it oh. Is it oh, no, it's not this one. It's not which one, is it? Yeah, you only sent me pencils on that one. Oh, okay. They oh, oh. exist. We just don't know where right now. Tony, do you have any of those? I that do not. Same thing? Wait, you know what? I, I have. I just happen to have a package up here that has. <laughs> oh, you just happened to. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I just looked at this today. And. Um, I actually have pencils from this story. So this is uh, who's afraid. Oh, you just pulled pencils for like ninety percent of it. Yeah, and uh, this was written by Jeremy Hahn. Um, yeah, shout out to Jeremy. Shout out to Jeremy. You know, this is the first time he and I worked together, and um, the Lois and Clark story, not a Superman story. Although we do see uh, Clark uh, make a change, uh, but uh, in this story, I. I you know, I, I I didn't know this. It's a supernatural story, so Lois actually ends up saving the day because Superman. Man, spoilers. <laughs> uh, it's it's a super yeah. It, it's it's something in the basement that goes bump, and uh, uh, Superman doesn't have uh, the ability to fight those things. I I didn't know. Oh, no, because of magic, he doesn't. He yeah, because magic. But it's it's Lois who, who who saves everybody's butt in this story. All right. Well, we have this one uh, is uh, priced at two fifty, and we don't have the ink pages, correct? I want to make sure I uh, yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't found while we were uh, talking about it. Correct, Mark. Correct. 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 Uh, Unless one of those guys whips it out, uh, I'm afraid. Don't no. don't yeah. tempt them. They've been drinking over. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, what exactly do you mean by that, Mark? The yes, inks. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> That's all. I know uh, you guys lot, well enough. Lot 12 still available. Lot Lucky Lot 13 is next. And uh, what do we got here? This one is, uh, this is page two from that book. And uh, uh, oh, yeah. price of 200 Yeah, that's the uh, the house. They're looking for two missing girls, um, and so the so Lois and Clark are, are canvassing the area. They're searching the area, and of course, they wind up walking into the house that these girls are actually being held in. But there's so much more than just those girls in this house. It's, it's creepy. They, uh, Lois is speaking to the old guy here, distracting him while Clark floats down the hallway and into the, the cellar where he finds just <clears throat> piles of, of carcasses of, that have been um, killed, basically sucked dry by the, the entity that's living in this house. Um, and that's where he gets into trouble. You know, I found a couple of, uh, a few pencils. You, you do have one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You dead bodies too. <laughs> I don't have any. Hopefully eggs, not the carcasses. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, uh, I've got, yeah, three pages here. I'll get those. Okay, that's what I thought. All right. 
All right. Well, I know uh, this one's still available. And this next piece, I, I think we have the pencils and the inks on separate board, right? So I th I'll show you two slides for this one. This is the the next page in this sequence where I think you actually end up seeing the kids. He sees the kids through using his uh, it's revision there. He sees yeah. the kids in in the basement. Uh, so there's the pencil page from this uh, lot, and there's the inked version of it. That's terrific. It's terrific seeing the ink. Wait, I, you've never seen it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I saw this story. I, I saw it in PDF form. So I never, you know, <laughs> this stuff flies out the oh, door. That's right, you moved. You're right. okay. Yeah, yeah okay. this stuff flies out the door. Uh, so I saw the PDF of it, which looked terrific. But uh, yeah, the inks are, are, are great. I like the, uh, I, I enjoyed the, the last panel. Uh, where Clark is levitating down the hallway, so he's starting to use his his uh, superpowers. Yes. So, do you do uh, type prelims before you do your finished work? Uh, you know, the finished oh, yeah. pencils, like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, 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 I do. I do. I do going into type thumbnails that, you know. that I'll some then tighten. Tighten those to full pencils, and then you know the ink process happens. I, I, I Tony, do I you have, have a sketchbook yep. nearby? The sketchbook you do all your layouts in. Tony's internet looks like it's uh, getting a little stuttery. Actually, okay. Tony. Oh, has hey! With his uh, all of his original work in these red notebooks Hey, we just had uh, somebody join us in the chat i see that uh, jill thompson welcome to the chat jill yeah, thank oh, you hi, jill. Oh, jill's here one of tony's friends yes tony is one of the best natural comics storytellers ever check all the body language and details in all the pages superstar oh thanks jill <laughs> good all right text her right now has anybody ever compared you to Art Adams, Tony? Have you ever heard that comparison? Yes. Because uh, you're... <laughs> yes, I yeah, I I have never heard that comparison, and I, I'm 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 humbled by it because uh, the guys at the studio know that if I'm having a hard time with a page, I have uh, a collection of Art Adams next to me that I'll I'll, I'll refer to, and if I'm feeling insecure. I'll look through work that he's done and try to pick out something where he sort of took a shortcut or, or, you know, where he let something slide. So I feel a little more less self-conscious and he rarely lets anything slide, but um, yeah. Uh, thank you for the comparison. Yeah, I, I, your details I, I are fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, um, oh my God, someone wants, uh, Compare me to, I think, Terry Moore. Oh, this is wow. years ago. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I my, my style is, is it, 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 style. it fluctuates depending on, Your style uh, is on what I'm doing. You know, uh, that back in 2020, I was on a, a book for Vault that took place in 1680 in, oh, in Ukraine. Okay. Right, 100 Wolves. Right? 100 Wolves. And yeah. that that had just like a completely different feel. Well, that that was that was my love letter to Miyazaki and Kurosawa. That was with, the, probably the most beautiful work I've seen you do. Yeah. Thank you. And, Thank, and, you. And, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not. I mean, yeah. I'll give the Tony the pages back to Tony, but yeah. Those, those, those were. Great. I mean, those as a collaboration, those are some of the best collaborated pages I've ever I, seen. I, yeah. Thank you. And uh, there was a a publisher in Ukraine. That contact is right. <laughs> they contacted Mike Cole, who was the writer. Uh, they contacted Mike because they wanted. They heard that there was a a, a, a series about Cossacks, and uh, they contacted Mike. Mike contacted me, and we were we were pushing through the rights to uh, for for this publisher in Ukraine to 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 take the series. But then the Russians took the town that the printer was in. So, 
they, like, uh, the yeah. they said, hey, sorry, there's a war going on. Uh, we can't wow. do it right now. Wow. <laughs> right? Uh, oh, we're like, we'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, know, you would think that they would get it, try to get it across the border into Poland. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I think you yeah, got more important they, they had an ex contract with this one printer in this one town that just wound up behind Russian lines. Very unfortunate. The challenges but, of getting a book published these days, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Looking good. We'll put the eye patch Very on. Nice. <laughs> oh, am I supposed to put the eye patch on? You can put that, Brian, or you can, you know, one can do the strap on. Look at this. Okay, this, this is an original uh, page. This is where. Uh, uh, come back just a little, Tony. Let it focus. Um, yeah, pull it a little closer to you. There I am. You got a hot spot. All right. No, I think it was blank. Maybe. Yeah, he's got so okay. the. Uh, yeah, what was that mystery, at least? Yeah, this is the page where Lois has taken out the farmer, and Clark is, you know, Superman is just showing up in time now that everything's wrapped up. Uh -huh. So okay, that's I'm, here. I'm glad you have those. <laughs> I was a little worried. I'm like, shit. If you want to sell that, Tony, you guys can send it my way. Yeah. yeah. You, do, you, yeah. do you have ink pages or just all the pencils? You should have like one or two ink pages. Uh, I don't have them on me. Okay. Okay. I mean, if they're around, I mean, if you have that page, great. Yeah. Oh, here's uh, the what Jimmy was talking about earlier. Uh, yeah. Back to them. Wow. Uh, I, I can't see it, brother. Uh, wow. Yeah. This is uh, my pencils and inks. And this is, uh, yeah, this, this Kickstarter will be coming up. Jimmy Palmiotti um, and I. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, this is our kaiju story. Ah, uh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, this is fun. Jimmy's always got a Kickstarter going. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, God, the... the I love the mayhem in this one. Takes place in 62. Yeah. But yeah. Hey, Bill. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the Punisher piece that uh, Brian had earlier, um, uh -huh. he mentioned that uh, maybe we could start it at a, um, a price and see if we can get any auction love to go to Tony. Um, it's sure. kind of on the fly. I know we don't have a scan of it, but uh, he is holding it right now, uh, guys. If maybe we start at one fifty and see if uh, anybody would like to uh, throw in a bid, we'll do this. Uh, this is Brian T's original um, character design. That's uh, beautiful. The, original, yeah. all original. <laughs> So uh, all right, Alberto jumped in for 150. If anybody wants to hey. jump ahead of him, uh, he has already gotten his um, sketch lined up for uh, more attack, so somebody else can have an opportunity. But if not, Alberto, okay, great. Anthony, thanks for jumping in. Anthony, thank you. And Alberto back with a uh, 225. Thank you, Alberto. Yeah, Brian. Shaggy, we appreciate the bid. This uh, is the so character we'll, I always wanted we'll to do for Marvel that I never got a chance to. Yeah, you had a chance. You had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> it's not All right, Shaggy just jumped in uh, with 245. Shaggy. And Anthony's got a 250. Yeah, hold it still, Brian. Hold it still. Brian. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Make sure you sign that, Brian. I'll sign it. I'll sign it right now. Hang on. Switch. switch take off your shirt while you're holding it up. Yeah, should I? Can you, someone, where's that? Where's that? Where's that, where's that Kiritaki? You want this? Oh, I'll do that here. I'll sign it right now. The, the Kiritaki, yes. No, no, I got the brush This works better. How oh, do you spell it wrong? Did I? Brian, constantly looking outside your window to see military aircraft fly by. There were a couple of Apaches that went by earlier. All right. It's, All right, it's now signed. 
All right, great. Thanks, Brian. And uh, Bill, if you want to count it down, we are at uh, 250 from Anthony right yeah, now. Yeah, we'll go with uh, I'll have a 10 second count going on in my head there. And Brian, Brian's participating in the mystery sketch too, everybody, which is uh, we got sales going on right now too. So, see work like this, you could end up uh, potentially getting one for yourself. Uh, not that detailed, I'm sure. Not not that many characters on it, but uh, uh, very nice. All right, so I think we're going to call this one for Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. Two hundred fifty dollars on this one. Perfect. I uh, I own an original piece by Brian, which is which is fantastic. Uh, it was sort of a going away present when I came back to Chicago. He uh, uh, Captain Harlock. Yeah, Captain Harlock. Oh my God, it's 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 amazing. Are you going to tell that story? What's tell the tell the Captain Harlock story now that uh, uh, your lead you lead you has passed on? <laughs> no, go ahead. No, <laughs> you go ahead. You go down there. You go down there. No, so uh, Captain Harlock and um, Space Battleship Yamato were two anime that really inspired me as a kid, and that's something else that Tony and I shared a love of. But uh, Justin had a chance of doing some covers for the American version of Captain Harlock, and they got rejected over and over and over again. And uh, I was like, well, I'll do something. But by that time, it was too late. So Tony was leaving about the same time. So I just did the piece and gifted it to Tony as a going away present. It's wonderful. Oh, it's a Hey. <laughs> I don't know how well this will translate, but I said if I can pull it up. So, Mark, if I'm not mistaken, we have two other pieces that you added in right before the show, right? That we have uh, for claims that were done by Tony? Those yes, that's three. correct. Uh, Tony, you might be able to <laughs> uh, comment on these. Uh, it's probably good that Tony's here because uh, if he wasn't here, I don't know what we we're going to say about him. Oh, uh, well. Uh, you know, as you once you see it, you can tell um, it is um, when he was influenced by watching Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah, that's an amazing wow. yeah. piece that he did for you. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's wow. fantastic. Um, I tried uh, replying to Anthony in the chat and that got kicked back for some reason so well you um, can't put yeah you can't put an email in there only admins can so i did put it in there for uh, them. okay gotcha yeah, yeah they, they don't let uh, non-admins post web addresses or email addresses in the chat um okay well so let's just pull it up and we'll let uh, tony do the talking on this one so this is lot 15. uh a little back to the future <laughs> and, uh, <talk. laughs> and marty uh, it's yes. a la Rick and Morty style, an eight and a half by eleven uh, illustration board. How did this yeah. come about? Um, Put out this chin. It's uh, <laughs> the Rick and Morty. Well, Rick and Morty. I mean, you see it. You watch the series. You you, you see I've where never watched it, it. it. It's derived from Back to the Future. I mean, basically, right. it, it's it, Rick's. Rick is you know Doc, and Morty is is Marty. The, Marty, but uh, Morty is just seriously intellectually challenged. Uh, he's very slow on the uptake, and um, and Doc or Rick is, oh, uh, he, he, you know, there's there's a lot of ethical quandaries <laughs> that he uh, drags his grandson through. Um, and sometimes his grandson doesn't make it through those being dragged through those. But so I wanted to. Um, just, you know, pay, pay my respects to uh, Back to the Future, which is a terrific film. I, oh, yeah, and I was watching this. I was watching the film when I thought to do this, uh, the, the scene where um, in the um, parking lot of the mall where we first see the, the machine, time machine operate before, you know, they're, they're, they're attacked. So uh, yeah, this is actually uh, based on a frame. I, I, I froze the image and uh, based drawing on on that. And this sort of kicked off a whole Rick and Morty theme, where I did several drawings of Rick and Morty, Morty in uh, 
different films. Oh yeah, yeah, we, yep. <laughs> we will, uh, let's see. Down. <laughs> you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? All right, CBJ Buckeye One has claimed awesome. this one for one fifty. Thank you so much, CBJ. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, like with everybody else, we want you to email splashpageart at gmail dot com, and uh, you'll talk to Mark. He'll set everything up, get everything shipped to you, and uh, arrange payment. So uh, thank you for that. Thank uh, you. So we have one more piece, and it is another uh, Rick and Morty inspired. Jem, Deckard, <laughs> and Rachel this time. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, these, these have languished for far too long unseen. And uh, actually, uh, uh, I'm texting with uh, Zane Sulinski here, and I did a, uh, a, a commission, a Blade Runner commission for him. And uh, uh, I wonder if he's seeing this now in might be interested. I don't know. But yeah, again, Rick and Morty as I was trying to go for a lot of iconic duos. Um, and I, I, I slowed down after the third one. And I can't remember what the third one is or whether you have it. But I, I, I saw, I, I, saw uh, I think I started a Casablanca one with uh, Bogey and Bacall on the uh, at the end of the movie. Um, Oh, uh, yeah, I was trying to follow the train of thought, but like, you know, it, that train got derailed. But I love this one. Well, I love both of them. They're both terrific. Oh, no, wait, there is one more. I think you have it. I think I saw no, it on the. Uh, I only got these two. Okay. Um, is you gave them to me in an envelope. And, yeah, yeah. And it was just these two. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of one. Uh, if you go to, I think we go to my Instagram, which T O N Y eight K I N S. Uh, you can you can see it there, and it's Rick and Morty, but they're 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 drawn real realistically. Um, oh, I, okay. Yeah, so, then, yes. Now that I have, uh, oh, I'm okay. sorry. I thought you meant. I have a sketch of Rick and Morty drawn more realistically. Yes. But okay, I didn't have another one as the Rick and Morty style with the big eyes and stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad you have that one. Yeah, that one I was, uh, when I drew Rick naturalistically, Morty just looked just so messed up with the, the pumpkin head and the big eyes. But when I drew Rick, I saw the Doc character. I mean, it was it was... Yeah, yeah. So good. And let's uh, let's throw people a reminder that whether you see something in here or not, uh, Tony's original artwork is for sale right now on splashpageart.com uh, for thirty percent off the normal price. So there's a variety of sketches, commissions, and original published pages that you can purchase. Uh, after this is over, after this show is over through uh, through the rest of this month. So 30% uh, off. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate you posting that. Um, if you want to help Tony um, out and get some great artwork, uh, you can go to the, the gallery and check out the other stuff we have. Yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah there's some tremendous, uh, well, there's some, some, some Fable stuff in there that I really love, the, the 1972 story, um, and uh, uh, a good chunk of Manifest Destiny, uh, where I was inking Matthew Roberts, and that's that's some some gritty stuff. Um, but uh, Matthew Matthew has um, a new uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon series, and uh, it, it, it's it's. I'm envious. He, he's doing a, a great job. He, he's, he's a monster man. Um, but uh, being on Manifest Destiny uh, was 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 great. It was a great experience. I enjoyed inking him. And so well, the sale, um, Mark, I just want to make sure make, it's through the end of the month, right? 
Right. The sale is through the end of April. That is correct. All right. Fantastic. I'm oh, sorry. You, you caught them now that the art isn't up on the screen. You can see what they were doing. Well, at least they weren't, uh, you know, eating. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you know, I, I can go through uh, the lots that are still available just so those who are watching the show after the fact know which pieces are still available. Now, the, Mark, I guess the question is, are these pieces going to end up on the website if they don't sell tonight? Is that uh, you going to get them out there? Or what was your plan with uh, unsold items from the show today? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I can do that. I can add them to the website. Um, we could, I don't know, maybe as a right now, try to to move them. We'll take. Yeah, so I'll re I'll recap. Take them. a little off, and if we can make it happen now, and then otherwise they'll be at this marked yeah. price uh, on the website. So let's see if we can get some uh, some love. Yes, Mar Marcelo. Mata is claiming 13. I'm not sure which one 13 was, Bill. Uh, if I can show it. Uh, let's see here. That was um, page two, right? Yeah, page two from uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark Side? Okay, awesome. And yes, Marcella. Uh, Marcella, congratulations. Yeah. Regular buyer on the show. We sincerely appreciate that tonight. Thank you so much. All right, so are you afraid? Okay, so there was that one. So yeah, I'll go ahead and recap the pieces that were still available. And uh, the first one was a uh, lot seven, priced at two hundred dollars from Red Hood fifty two, page one, multiple inkers on this one. I think we uh, remember hearing lot yeah, eight, it's, right? The, it, yeah. the team at Hotel Moscow, everyone played a role. So. Uh, Yes, Mark. Oh, I was going to. Uh, you jumped off that other one. I was going to take twenty five dollars off that. Uh, oh, okay. Box. So you're going to discount these. So, okay. Sorry. So, I apologize. Yeah. Well, right now, otherwise on the website it'll be this mark price. But uh, yep. so one hundred and seventy five right now. If anybody wants lot seven, um, we will shave a little off. Try to help Tony out and throw some love his way. So. Uh, $175 if anybody would like this uh, lot number seven. Okay, so uh, 175 for lot number seven. Well, this is a lot like dueling dealers going in and uh, getting the last uh, best price yeah. on these for the last round here. So we, and again, we appreciate everybody who picked up stuff, everybody who submitted super chats. And uh, those who hung out just to enjoy the conversation, we uh, we do appreciate it. Uh, let's see. So lot nine is the next one that was available. That was from uh, Reddit 52, page seven. It was originally yeah. priced at 275. So we'll take 50 off of this and call it 225. If anybody would like lot number nine for 225. All righty. Lot number nine at 225. Then we had lot number 10. And remember, guys, if you're uh, if you're meeting the threshold, you're getting a piece from um, a seven by ten color illustration uh, from Moritat as well. You won't get that through the website, obviously. So uh, you are getting a twofer if you uh, jump in right now and claim one of these last ones. Uh, so that was uh, fifty two page seven was still available, and now we're fifty two page eight. Uh, I guess we'll take 50 off and call it 200. So if you would like this for 200 and you get a Moritat piece, uh, now is your opportunity. Yeah, I think we've uh, given, a, given away eight Moritat pieces, if my count is correct. Uh, all right, so lot 10, priced to $200. Then we also had, uh, let's see, lot 11 was still available. This oh, was yeah. a piece of ball from that one. You were at three seventy-five originally on this one, Mark. All right, we'll uh, we'll call it three hundred. You are getting uh, red hood and costume and croc, um, yeah, pencils and inks, eleven by seventeen. So uh, you would be getting a Moritat piece uh, right now if you jump on that as well. Yes, indeed. And then uh, lot twelve. This was a pencils only page that we had from. 
Are You Afraid of Dark Side? This is uh, page one from that. You were at 250. Jeremy me, um, Corey. Yeah, we'll go uh, 200 on that right now. If somebody wants that and to get a more tab piece, I, I really, I wish I loved Superman, to be honest with you, uh, but uh, I really like the pencils on the page. Uh, for me, I'm not a Superman guy. Um, if it was Bruce Wayne, I would I would claim that. But uh, it. Uh, but it is it. a really nice page. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so 200 on lot 12. We had Marcelo pick up lot 13. Lot 14 is also available. This is the one where we have a uh, pencils only page and the uh, ink page to go along with it. And uh, this one was $300 for the pair. Uh, we're 250 today on that. It's page three. Just noticing the tea that he's pouring into that little mushroom cup. <laughs> Yes, I like that mushroom cup too. Yeah. Everybody had one of those in the 70s. Seriously. Uh, JC, thank you so much. Uh, thanks, JC. Yeah, mothers are the best. My best to yours, Tony. Thank you, JC. We appreciate it. JC, thank you. Uh, all right, so 250 on this one. And then the last piece that uh, was available this evening that we still have open is lot 16 this was the uh, Deckard and rachel rick and morty style yeah. eight and a half by eleven do you like my owl uh, and the owl yes. i'm sorry i didn't I, I had enough room i could have oh, put uh, and the owl. I wait a second I, right I understand why zane didn't pick this piece up because <laughs> he he uh he commissions a lot of Blade Runner stuff and a lot of people have owls in them. And so he wanted something free of an owl. So this one, you know, this pre-existed his, his uh, request. But the um, drool. Huh? <laughs> but the drool. The drool is a, <laughs> That's a great owl though. That's a great owl. Yeah, so I think that's why he didn't pick this piece up because it had an owl in it. And the piece I, I gave him was certainly owl free. Um, and uh, I still have to get that to him. We we can never connect. Zane, if you're listening, uh, we'll make it happen. Maybe this weekend. C2E2 this weekend, this coming weekend in Chicago. So I won't be there, but. In spirit. In so, spirit. Uh, so, so that was the last one we had available right. tonight. Um, so that's why I should let people know. I mean, if you're watching the show after the fact and uh, you saw the pieces that weren't claimed, feel free to shoot Mark an email at splashpageart at gmail.com. We'll let you know if the piece is still available and can arrange the, uh, the sale with you if that's the case. Otherwise, they will end up on the website where all the other artwork by Tony is currently discounted at 30%. Yeah. And uh, thank you uh, to everyone who did win a piece, make sure to email me splashpageart at gmail.com with your um, address information and also what Moritat um, character, well, what character you would like Moritat to to do for you. Um, I think I only have two people that have contacted me so far. So um, definitely get that out there to me so we can get uh, Justin working. I think he's already started on the first one, probably. But I'm, I'm um, sure he has. I can see him practically. Yeah, you guys yeah, did say much that we couldn't be on camera too much, and you you were right. I don't know how and, you've uh, done this before. Thanks to uh, Stefano and Brian and Justin for jumping in and helping us out. Now, uh, Bill, like I said before, I truly appreciate your help with this. Um, it's my pleasure, Tony. Love you. Yeah. Uh, you. Yeah. Mark, Stefano, Brian, Justin, Bill, Chris, and you all. I will reach out to you once this all settles um, so we can get you some fundage coming your way, okay? Yeah, thank everybody who logged on and, and bought art. <laughs> See? <laughs> Thanks, <Yeah>. Justin. <laughs> we sincerely appreciate it. At least it wasn't a middle, middle finger, so I guess we're good. <laughs> right. Could have been worse. <laughs> That's coming, Mark. Just say it again. Yeah. 
Uh, he will just text me that independently of the show. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. Well, Brian. we appreciate everybody tuning yeah. in tonight. Too. We, uh, we really do. This was a lot of fun and uh, definitely, you know, I want to get everybody back on at some point in time. I mean, Stefano, we, we haven't, we haven't talked in a while. We should do an interview sometime. Tony, we should, we should yeah. talk about your career at some point when you have some free time. I'd love to do that. Brian, we, I think we've done this before on a panel or yeah. something once. But uh, book, yeah. and Mortat, uh, if Mortat were on with me, he'd be off camera the whole time. That, that might be <laughs> difficult, but he can do the hand signals for me. Well, he could be drawing. We could show him drawing. Uh, okay, all right. I like next that. time, but Bill, uh, Brian will have to help him, like with the technology aspect of it. So. <laughs> right, Justin. Indeed. Uh, but yeah, maybe when that uh, Jimmy book. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that would um, be a good opportunity. Yeah, maybe, I agree. Uh, Tony and I can join w with you and yeah, show I'd, some I'd like originals from that, Tony. Mm -hmm. if you, yeah, absolutely. If things pretty... settle down for you. Cool. All right. All well, right. I appreciate you guys awesome. doing this. Everybody in the chat, thank you so much. Uh, you know, have Thanks, a wonderful guys. night. Again, if you claimed anything, make sure you email splashpageartgmail.com. Do it now. All right. Have a wonderful Thanks. evening. We'll see you again soon. All right. See you guys. Yeah.